Hi, Divine Collective. Welcome. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. How y'all doing tonight? So we're going to jump right in and see what are the messages for you. I apologize if the shuffle is too loud. Thank you for those of you all who have been supporting me. All right, guys. So let's jump right in and see what you need to know. What are the affirmations? Thank you, Most High Divine World of Divine Gods, as well as High Self. Allow me to come on be a channel messenger of truth, light, and accuracy. We have, I accept and receive all moments of discovery for my highest good. All right. And then we have, I understand that all options are, I'm sorry, I understand that all options in love are divine connections. And this does not have to just deal with romantic. It can also be plutonic, okay? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull some everyday tarot and see what is the backstory behind this? Okay, ooh. We have Major Arcade on the table already. We have the Death um, number 13 as well as the Chariot number 7. July 13th could be of some sort of significance. You could be a Scorpio or a Cancer. Um... A water, water sign heavy. Mm. We got a lot of major arcade out of here. Are y'all seeing this? Yep. Y'all like my new table? Ooh. I'm waiting on other things to come in, but the table and the chair did arrive. That was one of the first things I put in for, even prior to putting in my bed. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got the three of pentacles and the page of pentacles in reverse. I don't do reversals, but when they come out like this, I don't like to not take them, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we have three major archaea out here. Okay, we have 7, 13, and 15. We have the chariot, the death, and the devil, as well as the seven of pentacles. Three of pentacles in reverse, four of pentacles in reverse, page of pentacles in reverse. I apologize. Let's see what else. Why is the devil here? Ace of Wands. Uh-oh. I'm getting the picture already. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, to clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Let's talk about it. Divine Collective. Okay, so what this is telling me is that someone's no longer team working with someone. Turning down the opportunity to manifest a partnership, calling an end to it, all right? There is a energy who is toxic that wants to offer you another passionate beginning, another passionate romantic beginning. However, we have the Seven of Cups here. I understand that all options in love are divine connections. So you already see through this. There could be a toxic Scorpio or Cancer who wants to come in, who sees you as an investment, okay? And this person sees you as an investment in a financial sense. But you're turning down the opportunity to team up with them. You're turning down the opportunity to even manifest them in your, into your surroundings. Because at one point in time, you were actually trying to manifest them. But you're calling an end to it, okay? Yeah, this person wants another opportunity to be sexual with you. All right? You've closed out a cycle. There's been a change in this person's monetary balance or the way they receive some type of financial payout. And this is why they want to come in. They've been juggling their finances. Okay, let's go ahead and get some um, information from the lowdown deck. Oh, guys, it feels so good to sit at my desk with a chair <laughs> and not use, like, other parts of the house, okay? Nice. Divine... Divine Spirit, why is all this information here? Why is this toxic energy trying to come back to the Divine Collective, masculine or feminine? Why is this toxic energy here? In present, Divine Collective is turning down the opportunity to teamwork, okay? 
Oops. You know what, I guys? You know what? So crazy. I just realized that we have two threes out here and two sevens. The chariot is a seven. Then we have the seven of pentacles. The wheel of fortune is 21, which breaks down to three. And we have the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So because you turned down the opportunity to work with a particular energy, they're now reaping what they sow. That's another message for some of you all out there. Okay, look at this at the top of the deck. He slash she is not... Am I, am I aiming this in the camera right? Okay, good. He slash she is not for you. Remove yourself, all right? Yeah, I'm copying you. So what? I had a threesome behind your back. So this is why this person... Do you hear that? Do you hear that? That car is revving up. That is nothing but confirmation. Yeah, I'm copying you. So what? I had a threesome behind your back. You have a leech, okay, in your energy. This person, this person that d decided that they wanted to come back and teamwork for financial gain, okay? I never loved you. Only what you do. It's clear as day. Because it's like they're coming back because they're now, look at this shit. Lustful. Paired up with, I had a threesome behind your back. Yeah, they're very lustful. This is why this devil energy is here with the ace of wands. And yeah, they were copying you energetically. This is why there is a leech in your energy. They are the leech. I never loved you, only what you do. This person, let me tell you something. This person could have sat up here and acted like they loved you. They could have pretended all day long. But if you notice in this particular spread, there is absolutely no love out here. No love. The only thing we see is the Ace of Wands. That is some toxic shit, yo. Like, it's three pinnacle cards out here. Three major archaic cards. Four major archaic cards out here. With the Ace of Wands? Nah, this person wants to come in for a financial opportunity. They want to give you something passionate, something lustful. Meanwhile, they're having their sexual parties behind your back okay my family is leeching off me please help i told you their finances okay they're reaping what they sow their finances are not coming in the manner that they used to and even if they are they're now having to juggle their finances this is why they want to come in for another financial opportunity okay telling the truth right here but since we have the three of pentacles in the reverse, we have never again. So it's letting me know that some of you all have already complete, completed the cycle. Never again will you be with this person because they're lustful. Some of you know that they had a threesome behind your back, okay? Some of you all went through some people's phones. Some of you are overheard conversations, okay? I'm hearing a lot right now. Mm -mm -mm. Telling the truth is here. This person was copying you energetically to try to reap the benefit that you were receiving, okay? What I did to you is now being done to me. Look, we have two cards over here. Can you see this? Probably can't. Okay, it's too far. These two cards are paired up with each other. They leached off of you. And guess what? Now people are leeching off of them. I just want you to see this because you can't see the entire desk. But don't worry, I have a light coming in, guys, that is going to be a complete overhead of the entire desk. So you will see nothing but the entire desk pretty soon. We have, I had a threesome behind your back. Lustful. And you're in the energy of never again. Never again. Why would I do, you asking yourself, why would I do this? Yeah, I'm copying, so what? I only loved you, I only loved what you do. I never loved you, only loved what you do. And this is the truth. This is the honest God truth. Okay? So we got two cards clarifying each other as well as a final card clarifying two cards. Okay? So no. And then look at this. I accept and receive all moments of discovery for my highest good. So you could have discovered something or you're now discovering something with confirming what you've already thought to be true. 
okay? This is why this energy is in the reverse because you're being stingy. You're hiding your hand. You're hiding what you have because you know that this person wants to come in and bring a death to what the fuck you're working on, okay? No, that's not what we're doing today. And this is exactly how you feel. All right, let's go ahead and get an um, outcome comb. And then we're going to get an outcome affirmation. And then we go. What is the outcome here for Divine Collective, Divine Spirit? Ooh. Okay. Oh, mental clarity. Let's see what's behind mental clarity. Oh, nothing. Yeah, you're forgiving this person and moving on. You've already had for, uh, forgiveness in your heart once you received mental clarity. You know why? Because the, the seven of cups is here again. The page of cups with the six of cups and the knight of cups. That's the eight of cups. You broke up because when you were trying to give your cup of love, you received intuitive downloads. You received a moment of clarity that allowed you to move forward. You forgave this person. Nonetheless, you did it the cycle. Okay? You didn't have time. You, I mean, you do have time. I got to stop saying that because we have as much time as we think we have. But we don't have time for toxicity and cycles that, that are a, a continuous loop. Like, what the fuck is that about? Why would we do that? I don't think so, right? So, this person's going to want your forgiveness because the same thing that they did to you is now being done to them in the sense of their own family. You know, this person came to you to leech off of you monetarily. And here, they wanted to play the role of someone who had money. And now, everyone is having their hand out. And now, they need a source of replenishment. And you're not going to be that source, Divine Collective. All right, let's go ahead and get... Let me see. I thought I had those cards out. I guess I don't. Let's go ahead and get an affirmation to close it out. Okay. I will not allow you to betray or belittle me. All right. 1222 as I looked at the clock. All right, Divine Collective. If you enjoyed this message, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay. And thank you for those of you all who are actually watching the videos. All right. Because I had seen a, a drastic dip in my viewership. But that's okay. I know I ain't been consistent. Um, I still love y'all. Thank you so much once again for supporting my channel. And until next time, I will catch you in your next one. Bye.